Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? I hope you guys are well. Hope you're feeling fantastic. Um, happy day to all of you. Really happy to be here. Super excited to bring you guys another pick a card reading. This is going to be Why Are People Jealous of You? Let's get the real tea on how fabulous you are and why are people so jealous? Like, what are they jealous of? I'm sure there's more than one quality, of course. Um, and this is going to be about, you know, pinpointing who's jealous. So we are going to get some signs here in the books. We're going to see who it is um, or potentially who it could be and how to kind of maybe mediate the situation or how to kind of bring some peace into your life. Okay, great. So I just want to go ahead and give a big shout out to my clients who have donated to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for those of you who are new. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on with the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. I do offer mediumship based readings, you guys. Those are priced a little bit differently. So, um, yeah, I have all that information below if you want to book a personal. Please keep in mind, as of right now, I am not actively booking. I have to catch up on some clients, and um, I'll let you guys know when I'll start taking on. But if you want to shoot me an email, maybe for future, maybe for future booking, we can work that out, okay? Perfect. So also check out my Instagram for testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings on there. I have a bunch of cool stuff on there as well. Um... Yeah, and I'm also doing a giveaway, so if you want to be a part of that, feel free to check me out on that, okay? Perfect. So, let's go and see what the tea is. Who's jealous? Okay, so here are the three decks, okay? So, the Angel Tarot, Pile 1. Pile 2 is the Lioness Oracle. Pile 3 is going to be the Vintage Erotic uh, Tarot. Okay. Think about just going to ask who's jealous of you. If you need more time, please pause the video. See what's going on. Okay, let's see. All right, pile one. Who is jealous of you? Pile one. Let's see who it is. Yeah, let's get the tea, the full tea on who's jealous of you. So let's get a little channeled message here. I'm almost getting that you guys have a really high frequency here because of the angel tarot. I almost feel like there is an energy of some high frequency vibes. So some of you guys, some of you guys are definitely maybe very into um, the angels or you're very spiritual or you're someone who's very in tune with the divine. Okay, so let's go ahead and see who's jealous of you. Okay, I'm getting a vision of a Scorpio energy here. There's a lot of water energy, so this could definitely be a Cancer, Scorpio, I want to say Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, I'm getting like a lot of underground activity like a lot of hidden activity like this person might be almost like a frenemy someone who presents themselves as maybe a friend 
but the reality is that they're very actually vindictive. Okay, this person watches you. They have really dark eyes. They look really evil. Oh my god. This person has not healed their energy. They are very envious of you. And I am getting that they they usually sit on the couch and they gossip about you. They text other people while they're with you. Either while they're with you or they're checking your social media and they're gossiping about you. So who's jealous of you? Mm -hmm. this is definitely a Scorpio what did I say I got some Scorpio energy definitely a Scorpio vibe I'm getting here this person um, is very I'm hearing underground so this might be something that's hidden from you maybe you guys think you're friends but this person is not a friend this person is upset that you have a lot of power in your community or they know that you are more powerful than them or they're envious of your manifestation power um, or they're just envious of how you have transformed yourself over and over and over a lot of you guys are very independent I am getting like a lot of free spirited energy like a lot of Aquarian energy Sun Moon rising a lot of Sagittarius energy um, Leo energy, strong Leo, and I am, I'm also seeing the sun with you guys, so I almost feel that you guys have like a really strong presence in your community, or you just have a very, um, I'm hearing a lucky charm, so there's something about you that is very lucky, so who's jealous of you? This is someone that watches you a lot, and then they turn around and they gossip about you is what I'm getting, okay? There's a lot of gossip. They could have Libra in their chart as well. Um, this person is continuously, I feel like, again, they, they might even present themselves like they're, they're your friend or they're bringing some kind of value into your life or they're someone who are trying to bring some kind of balance or they're, they're maybe even giving you a sense of, oh, um, you know, I'm just trying to help you with your business or I'm trying to help you, you know, establish a better foundation. I don't know why I'm getting this person likes to give a lot of advice. I'm hearing um, an, an eagle watches, an eagle watches. So you guys have an eagle for an animal totem, okay? You, and this person also has Capricorn in their chart. Um, they, they are part of your ancestors and they are watching you and this person they are watching a close eye on this person because they are very poisonous is what I'm hearing this person is very poisonous they um, I'm hearing they like to attract attention they want attention all to themselves so if they feel like someone else has the attention this person can't handle that and I feel there's something that you guys, I'm hearing on the rise, there's something that you're doing that is elevating your status here, or even just the act of wanting to get better or wanting to improve your life is almost like it's it's upsetting this person because they feel like you're doing better than them, or I'm getting a lot of issues with the masculine too, like a, a father or a mother that was maybe really masculine or very much a go-getter here and they resent a strong feminine energy so why are they enter uh, why are they jealous of you Powan? I'm hearing because you raise vibrations you raise frequencies this is a past life karmic situation you're dealing with a karmic lesson so this person is jealous because maybe some of you guys have a strong connection to Egypt you might have Isis as a deity you might have Sekhmet as a deity or Hathor which is the Egyptian goddess of beauty okay and um, there's an intense allure about you guys I am getting a vision that you guys have a lot of seventh house Venus energy and that people are naturally drawn to you so you may even have an air um, rising but you have this natural ability to like manifest whatever it is that you want in your life and they really don't like that they don't like they don't like the fact that you're able to really call in the powers of manifestation to, to manifest what you want they keep seeing you so focused I'm having a vision of you guys on the computer they see you very focused and they don't like it 
they don't they don't like that you don't pay attention to them or they don't like that you're not like it, it's like they, they keep looking at you with these black eyes while you guys are on the computer or you're focused on your own goals and they don't like that oh I'm hearing friend or foe so again this is someone who has really um hidden tendencies to sabotage you so I would recommend to ease up on on telling them any secrets this person will not keep your secrets so why are they jealous of you yeah because you guys attract listen you guys attract a lot of loving relationships or a lot of people that want to help you you guys attract a lot of abundance you might even attract a lot of the opposite sex opposite sex you attract a lot of love in your life okay and this person does not like that they don't like that they don't like that you attract a lot of maybe the opposite sex because again this person likes the attention they like it all to themselves and they also are jealous of your money your second house resources how you make money how you're um, making connections or how you connect with other people this person feels like you're you're really um, I don't know I keep hearing the word lucky they feel like you're really lucky or abundant they don't like that This person has seen you exchange money or they have seen some kind of transaction and um, this person is constantly thinking really negative about your money. So I would say be careful because they are manifesting against you and they're jealous that you have a life purpose. So that's what I'm saying. You guys are really focused right now. You guys are very creative people and they can't stand that you're focused because this person wants your attention just because they want your attention not because they really want it but because they want to distract you all because this person doesn't have a life purpose this person had like a father that passed away or something and they're grieving it or they're grieving a loss of something and it's like they see you thriving this person sees you thriving and it, it bothers them because they're hurting. You know, this person is like in a lot of pain because of it. Okay. So why are they jealous of you? Or who's jealous of you? Let's see who. Yeah, it could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Like I said, it could be a... a um, um, a Scorpio strong Scorpio I, I did get that in the beginning I'm also getting masculine here so this is someone who's very masculine and I feel like they're kind of watching you do your thing from afar and I can't even help but to see and notice that this person has a shark next to them or it looks like a shark um, yeah I feel like this person has like a pack of people that follow them or they they can easily manifest people to do what they want but they can't do that with you and I think a big part of why they can't do that with you is because a lot of you guys I'm hearing I'm above it I'm above it it's like you see it okay you're very intuitive so yeah this person they are really upset that maybe you guys just bought a new car or there's an energy of being really um you're very focused a lot of you guys are very focused and driven on your purpose on your life purpose they don't like that okay so why are they jealous but there's such a deep drive i'm hearing from within out so you guys really meditate on your goals you really focus on your own desires Oh my god, yes, because you're manifestors. A lot of you guys know how to work your magic. You just know how to work magic. Even if you don't know how to work magic or you think you don't know how, you know how to work magic. And they are so envious at how you are manifesting all your dreams. They don't like that. You know, there is a lot of competition here. I feel like you come out with some, I'm having a vision of you guys writing a blog or you're doing something and you come out with it and you launch it and this person cringes. They get so mad. This person has dark hair. It's like curly or, um, yeah, it's like dark curly. They have really dark eyes. So why are they jealous? 
because you guys are very strong. You're very resilient and, and they can feel that energy from you. This person cannot handle crises. I feel like one of the reasons why they're very envious is because they look at you and they see how you stand tall no matter what's happened to you and they wish they had that kind of resiliency and they don't. They really don't. This person wishes to have all the strength that you have and they just don't have it. You guys are very lucky. You guys have a lot of Sagittarian in your chart. You have a lot of Sagittarius energy in your chart, okay? They don't like that literally luck is always on your side, okay? It, it, no matter what, even if you guys feel like it's not, it's always on your side, okay? They don't like that. They don't like... They feel like you judge them or they feel um, like you guys have a strong grip on your transformation. Like you know how to transform. It's like you know how to wait. It's like you know how to wait for divine timing is what I'm getting. And you know how to use divine timing or even maybe the moon to help you manifest. You know how to move with the rhythm of the universe. You're never flowing against it. You're always flowing with the universe, alchemy, okay? So they hate the fact that you are so lucky because you know how to flow. You know when to transform and when not to. And this is something that you, listen, maybe this person wanted to kind of engage or build on a friendship and you guys cut this person off. You're like, I don't want to renew this. I'm hearing case closed. They can't stand that you guys shine. A lot of you guys, again, you have this angelic aura. Angel quartz is your is your stone, so make sure you get a piece. You have this very angelic energy about you, and they don't like that. That you guys really stand out. I'm, I am seeing, even when you don't try, you have this beautiful baby blue light that comes out of your crown chakra. They hate that you stand out, because this person tries really hard. I feel like when you guys are together, this person tries really hard to get attention when you guys are together. Like, they purposely, I'm, I'm seeing them walk in front of you, or they're purposely trying to attract people and not have you in the light a lot of you guys don't even care a lot of you guys are so focused on your own goals you're like that's great so I am seeing that you guys have maybe had a friendship and something was broken or something here was torn between you guys and I feel like you guys decided you guys are very very spiritual people you're very very empathic it's like you decided to kind of disconnect from something that was not serving you um, you decided to remove yourself from a situation that I feel was very toxic this person was very manipulative I am getting that this person tried to kind of put you down like when you guys would level yourself up especially if you talked about school there's something about you talking about school this person would shut you down okay this could even be someone you were dating but it's almost like they dismiss the fact that you were in school they didn't want to acknowledge that you guys were doing something in terms of your education, okay? So I am getting a lot of evil eye here. So you want to be careful for what you say, what you do. This person is very, very evil, you guys. I feel like a very demonic energy from this person. It, and maybe they don't even know that they have an attachment, but this person is very dark, okay? Um, I am having a vision that they've tried to do something with your photo, so just be careful, okay? This person has literally cried out of frustration because they, they don't have what you have. Like, this person is so petty that they have cried about not having what you have. And I feel like this is a friend. I feel like this is someone you met at school. I'm getting education. And it could be also a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So also with your relationships, you guys, be careful. Just don't don't overdo talking about your relationships. I'm really big on keeping your, your partnerships a secret. Like, you don't need to advertise it. 
that's just me though because I feel like ultimately the work is behind the scenes it's not it's not about overly posting them and letting the world see your relationship because a lot of people are envious of people who have love this is the number one evil eye money and love okay so if they see you in a happy relationship this person is going to be thinking these negative thoughts i feel some of you guys may have captured the love of somebody that they wanted maybe this person wanted this person and you again you're effortlessly moving through your life and you were the one who got chosen and they can't stand it okay so let's see what you can do what can you do about this jealousy what's the advice a lot of you guys are moving on anyway you're like listen get out my way like i'm really focused on my north node energy so so what can you do about this Yeah, some of you guys are going to have to let this go. Maybe this is a friendship with a Leo Sag Aries, Sun Moon Rising. There's a lot of backstabbing energy here. And I'm getting water and fire. You need to let this go. I'm hearing that this person is still in your life one way or another but you need to let this die because this is someone who literally thinks negative of, of you and they think very harmful thoughts and it's causing you issues in your life this person is very with this moon energy they're dark honey they are dark so your advice is to let this relationship go and know that you're gonna find a new connection or people who are worthy even if it's a partner this is someone, if you guys are not partnered, this is someone you need to kind of keep at a distance because this person is really low vibrational right now, okay? So yeah, yeah, this is it. This is the end of the cycle for this person. They have betrayed you or they will. So you need to be careful. Don't, don't keep this for the sake of keeping this. Spirit is saying they will find you a new friend or they will find you a new love. They will find you someone... Um, who's worth your time okay all right let's do pile two pile two why are they envious of you pile two why are they envious of you oh I'm hearing a glow and I'm also seeing a lot of gold energy here so like there's a lot of radiance in your presence i'm hearing egyptian egyptian deities so a lot of you guys have strong past lives in egypt okay you have strong a strong maybe a strong connection to offset okay anyone who has a strong connection to offset you're going to be faced with a lot of people who throw shade okay so this might be a cancer okay it could be scorpio pisces who's jealous of you a lot of cancerian energy okay who's jealous of you oh i'm hearing this person thinks they're all that okay so this person had an encounter with you and they felt like your glow was too much for them this is a friend or a family member of the person that you were seeing or that you are seeing. There's strong ties here though, okay? There's definitely some strong, strong, strong ties. I am getting a lot of judgment from this person or there's some kind of family and tie to you here, okay? I'm getting a lot of a lot of eye roll i'm getting a lot of like hater hater energy someone who um they like how you dress this person really admires how you dress they really like how you dress and they think you're very elegant they think you're very poised and they hate the fact that you outshine them in terms of maybe your style and you're very creative a lot of you guys i'm having a vision of a bird here 
So you're very free spirited. This person is very restricted to their life or their lifestyle. They feel very trapped. They feel very um, confined to their poverty consciousness. And they look at you and they see so much freedom. And you stand up for yourself. A lot of you guys speak your mind and they don't like that. This could also be, this is someone who's very restricted. Like they have so many restrictions in their life or they want to impose restrictions on everyone because they feel trapped. So for them, seeing anyone who's free really makes them jealous. And I feel like, you know, this person is someone who I'm almost getting like they might even have like psychological issues or like trauma or even emotional imbalances, even bipolar, because look at those two faces. Um, and this is someone a cancer, but this is someone who's very protective of themselves. They close themselves off to you. I feel like they, they feel, I don't know why I'm getting target here. I guess super random. I, I don't know if you guys talked about target or something on target here. They're watching you pick out some clothes and you do it so well. It's like you make all the, even the goodwill clothes look good. If you do shop vintage and I am seeing that your light really annoys them because they, they have made several excuses of why they can't do something and you never make excuses. A lot of you guys are Leo, Sag, Aries, Gemini, strong Gemini. Um, and a lot of you guys have transformed where you come from and this person hasn't been able to really find the strength to do this. So this is something that's causing a lot of, um, it's causing like a lot of um, envy, okay? So let's just tri triple check. Why are they envious of you? So this is someone who could have a lot of water in their chart and also um, Capricorn, okay? Yes, the idealization, confusion regarding, and sacrifice. A lot of you guys are very creative. You have sacrificed judgment. You don't care. People have judged you, judged your work, judged your decisions, and you don't care. You you snicker at people who judge your difference, like you're different. A lot of you guys are very secretive as well. They don't like that you're very secretive about your manifestations. Um, I feel like you focus on yourself and you don't worry about anyone else. And this is something they cannot stand. So why are they jealous? Neptune, you might also be highly intuitive as well. Like you're very close to the divine. You even get channeled messages from the divine is what I'm getting. You're very connected. You have a strong connection to your own faith. Okay. They don't like that. You make money off of your channeled messages. A lot of you guys are really able to, to intuitively tune in to your life purpose or you just intuitively know how to tune in and you've mastered this and you've taken this and you've created a business and they, they hate that. So why are they jealous? This is someone who has long, dark hair. This is a feminine energy. I'm getting a lot of feminine. This is someone who... They, they, they really hate, they hate how, they hate how good you dress. I don't know why it's about your clothes. There's something about your clothes that really bothers this person. They wish they had the same style and they don't. Um, you guys know how to create very easily anything you wish. I'm hearing, you know how to paint, you know how to sing, you know how to draw. You, you just naturally pick it up. Okay. They hate the fact that you're very hardworking. You guys are very determined. You're healers. Not only are you healers, but your determination to see your projects through are impeccable. And you're also very lucky with the divine. I am getting a lot of sibling energy. You guys, I'm getting a lot of, um, this person wants to fight. I'm hearing this person wants to fight. I don't know. I feel like they're waiting for the opportunity for you to say something kind of sideways so they can fight you. Like, at least bicker. Like, this person wants to, like, they really want to argue with you. There's something about, they're just waiting. They're waiting for you to say something so they can come in and be like, wow. <laughs> like that okay like a, a damn cat fight they want to get you they want to fight they don't care this person is aggressive so be careful 
I'm also saying that they talk to a masculine about you. Like, I don't know if this is someone that your maybe sibling is dating, but I'm, I'm hearing that they talk to a masculine about you and they, oh, they're always criticizing you. Like this person should be doing more. They're not doing anything for you. Da, 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 da. There's just like a lot of like, um, projection, a lot of blaming. So who is jealous of you? Let's get one more here. There's, listen, this person wants to fight. Okay, Knight of Swords, this person, I'm telling you, they want to fight. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It could be any sign, but they, they are ready to come in and give you a piece of what's on their mind, honey. This person feels left out in the cold. They don't feel like they have what you have. And when I first started um, doing this reading, I did see a lot of you guys... Um, there's just like a lot of abundance in terms of your energy. I'm seeing a lot of aqua blue as well. So that's a lot of expression. So you guys really know how to express yourself. And this person doesn't. They lack the, the strength. They lack the confidence to really stand up for themselves. Um, but they want to fight. Maybe they feel like you have more money than them. You have more. I'm hearing talent. They just feel like you have more talent than them. Because they haven't explored their talents. They're too busy gossiping about you. So what's their issue so who is this person and they feel like you're too much of a dreamer this person doesn't dream they're realistic okay libra gemini aquarius so again this person wants to come in and fight there's a lot of air energy here sun moon rising this person um they are very bitter they're very bitter I don't know how else to say it. They're very bitter with their life. They they feel like nothing goes well in their life. They feel they have too much on their plate. They're always blaming somebody about their hardships. But I feel like this is someone involving um, like a connection to your family, like a sister-in-law. And if not, this is someone who presents themselves that way as a sibling or something. There's a family vibe here. So let's see one more time. What are they jealous of? Let's just confirm. That you guys are, you know, you guys might be afraid to do something, but you do it anyway. Again, you take that leap. You walk away from anything and everything when you need to. You're not afraid. You're not afraid to take a step forward. A lot of you guys are, you're like, you're not afraid to transform where you need to transform. You're totally okay with all this. And they don't like how confident you are. That despite, look, despite you guys being afraid, you still take it upon yourself to transform no matter what okay they don't like that you haven't been giving to them or they feel like you're not charitable like you're selfish they feel like all you think about is yourself oh child oh i'm hearing vindictive this person likes to talk a lot of shit you guys so if i were you i would definitely watch out wear your evil eye stuff get yourself you know a candle to block that um, get a white candle, cleanse that energy. This person is talking very poorly about you. They're envious of you because a lot of you guys, um, you might even feel exhausted and you keep pushing with that Virgo energy. There is no, there's no limit to your rise. Like you guys keep going no matter what you don't give a F like you keep going and they hate to see how resilient you are. And you guys are very creative. You know how to dress. You know how to be suave. You know how to really create new environments, new new vibes. And they hate how, how I'm hearing sophisticated. I'm hearing you're nothing like your family. I don't know why. You guys are standing out of your family. And every time I'm having a vision of you guys, you guys are surrounded by pink orbs, like light pink orbs by Shamuel and Sam. Uh, Archangel Raphael. So there's a lot of love energy here. You guys know how to manifest love easily or partners. This person, they have a dark, dark patch in their sacral. So someone who has a close sacral is very angry, very jealous, very vindictive. Um, poverty consciousness, low energy, low self-esteem. And they also 
they carry like a little small wallet or a pound like a like a purse but it's very small representing you know their idea of money is very uh it's very limited they have a lot of like issues surrounding receptivity or being better than what they are they feel like they can't and you guys really shine a light that disturbs this person okay so how can you fight this let's see how can you fight this energy oh this person wants to fight you guys like i'm serious like if you say something sideways i feel like you guys don't even talk to this person i feel like you've walked away you don't even care you're like done this person looks a little bit on the younger side like maybe early late 30s um you guys are in your own world. I'm hearing you're in your own world. Like Janae, I go like 3.16 in the morning. You guys are on like a whole astral travel hype. Like you're not even worried about them. You could care less. A lot of you guys are surrounded by abundance, flowers, roses. Um, you guys have a strong heart chakra self-esteem and they're surrounded by weeds, like emptiness. They feel just... The only weapon that they have is that they're very, very gossipy, okay? So watch your reputation. I just want this person to stand still for once. Yeah, this person doesn't want you to move forward. They have issues with your your movement, okay? So how can you get the situation under control? Just keep doing what you're doing. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. Let this person think whatever. Allow them to be in their headspace. Do this alone. Like, do this. Whatever you've been doing, you need to do alone. And mind your own business. This is my this is my stay in your own lane card, okay? Stay in your lane, baby. Stay in your lane. How can you stay in your lane? That's the best thing you can do. And keep manifesting. You guys are manifestors. Take, take that negativity. This is what I do every time. You want to throw shade? Throw shade. You want to be envious? Be envious. Throw it at me. Okay? And then, boom. I catch it. I hold it. I, you know, I obviously can feel it. And it hurts to have people in my life who want negativity um, or who want me to be in a bad place, right? I, I acknowledge it. But then I take that and I literally will use it and transform it into my art, into my work. I will take all energy and use it towards myself. So that's what y'all need to do. Use this energy and <laughs> surprise, surprise, transform it. You guys have the ability to do it. This is your birthright. This is like part of your ancestors. They're telling you, don't get defeated. You guys are very empathic. You're very soft. You you know who you remind me of? You remind me of a Sabrina Claudio vibe. Look up who she is. You have this very soft, sensual energy that people love to, to throw stones at, okay? Because they, they can't match that and they're bitter. People are just bitter, you know? Um, this is saying, and, and be patient. Just be patient with your life. Be patient with yourself. Um, be patient with the situation. Know that you're divinely guided. You have a lot of your spirit guides on your side. You have a lot of, um, you're blossoming. Don't, you, you have to trust that you're blossoming even when you feel backed up into the corner or you feel like someone is against you. You're still blossoming. So what is the advice? That you're still going to manifest. You're still following your dreams. Some of you guys have some really cute jeans. I don't know if you guys have um, a DIY situation with jeans here, but I'm getting some cute jeans. Okay, girl, I see you. Or, you know, or dude out there, you know. Yeah, stay balanced and stay in your grace. Don't lower your standards. Don't lower your standards for this person. Don't Go out and get revenge, even though I don't feel like that's your vibe anyway. I'm getting a lot of Pisces energy in Virgo. Like, you guys stand in your power. You're not the type to sit here and, you know, get vindictive. Like, you will not stoop to that level because you guys have strong deities who are already, you know, really working in your favor anyway. So, it's like, you know, you don't need, you don't need to access that part of yourself you know what I mean? There's a lot of not really needing that. You don't. A lot of you guys need to use your creativity 
to create alchemy with this energy, okay? Yeah, and don't let them drain your energy, you guys. Don't let them pull and tug at your energy because they're trying. This is about them trying to deplete your creative energy because they're jealous. So they're trying to start drama to, to get you to lower your, your, your vibration. Don't do it. So that is the advice. Alchemy, art, use art. I love, there's a meme I have that's like, I'm going to use my art as my as my revenge it's true it's true show them different show them that you don't need to show up like a like a hyena or like a parasite that you can rise above that's one of the reasons why i really love beyonce is because i mean she has her diva issue like channeling her energy i'm like oh my god she's got a lot of of blocked heart chakra energy but but she's lacking a little bit of empathy to be honest with you um but I will say the one thing I really like about her is her ability to rise above. You will not see her lose her patience. You will not see her lose any, any of her grace, no matter what is happening around her. She sticks to her grace and she continues. It doesn't matter what it is. I really admire that. And that's something we all need to kind of appreciate. Okay. Use it, transform it, use it into your music, your art. All right, rant over. All right, pile, pile two. I'm um, three, sorry. Three, 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 three. Pile three, pile three. Went too fast, went too fast. So who's jealous of you? Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it. Who is really jealous of you? Who is jealous of you? Okay, pile three, off the bat, Virgo. Could be Taurus, could be Capricorn. Okay, let's get some channeled energy here. Oh, we used to be friends. Oh, this person is really upset that you cut them off. Somebody here got cut off. Something about a car, something about a loan, something about money. Something about I was there for you. I was jealous of you. I'm hearing energy exchange. Some of you guys wrote this person off real ugly. Like, real ugly. Yeah, this is communications, ideas, get your ideas going. So this, something was communicated here. This was someone that you were working with in terms of uh, maybe um, a plan, a creative plan, or an idea. Maybe you guys were working on some kind of project here together. Um, I am seeing a lot of like them not really being prepared. A lot of you guys would show up, this person wasn't prepared. This person was really messy dropping the ball, inconsistent, and they, they're very insecure about their body, and they have really long hair, but they would always walk in front of you, there's something about them walking in front of you, okay, like, making it seem like they were above you, like anyone, listen, let me, let me give you guys a little insight, anyone who walks in front of you, they do not want to be your equal, whether it's a relationship or a friendship, this means that they want to be in control. They want to be better than you. Or they, if it's a, if it's a relationship, then it's someone who is not committed to you. If this is a friendship and they walk in front of you, it's because they want to overpower you or they think they're better than you. This person in my vision, in my vision, they are walking in front of you. And they wear sandals. They wear really ugly sandals. Or they have a pair of sandals. Sorry, I'm, I don't want to be catty, but, you know, can't be hating all my subbies over here. Um, they're not ugly. It's just they look eccentric. They look different. <laughs> this person likes sandals a lot, but they, they're not cute, okay? Um, this person might even have, like, Venus in their, um, I don't know why I heard Venus in their 10th house. They might even have Libra, Virgo, Taurus in their in their chart. I feel like you guys were like coming together to create something. Um, maybe this was a business involving beauty, hair, nails, anything. It could have been a platonic friendship involving maybe both of you guys are really good looking, and there was some kind of um, this person. 
I feel like they were always a mess, you know, like they would come in, they were always late or something was always wrong. And I feel like they were envious that you guys were put together. Maybe you guys are, or you seem put together. Um, and they didn't like that. They always felt underneath you or you made them feel like your presence felt like you were put together and they didn't feel put together. Does that make sense? So why are they jealous of you? Some of you guys are psychics or your mediums. You're very intuitive and you're very put together. Like you look bad. Like you, you are a baddie. Okay. And, um, a south node to the past. They're jealous of the fact that this person has seen you outgrow the past, or maybe you're creating a new project. It's like you're, you're, this for me is about alchemy. Like you're healing a lot of your past and this person has not. They are still stuck in their karmic lesson. I'm hearing karma, cycling through karma. This person also shared a lot of um, relationship problems with you. And I feel like they're jealous at the fact that you always attracted love or partners easily. And they always had people who pushed them away or they always ended up with, with men or, or women who didn't want them. And you always got the person that wanted you. So they were kind of envious of that. And that you're someone who has power. You're someone who's transformed yourself. You're someone who has used the resources that you were given. Despite the past, you learned how to create a sense of alchemy. Why are they jealous of you? And you know how to communicate. Some of you guys are great writers. You're great public speakers. They hate that because this person doesn't do well with writing. They they have writer's block because they don't trust themselves. They could easily be really good at what they do, but they choose not to. I'm getting like a lot of insecurity around their writing, okay? And they're really, really envious at the fact that you're a go-getter when it comes to your goals. Some of you guys might write for a living. Maybe you have a blog for a living. Um, and yeah, and it's funny because I didn't even realize I chose this song. And this is, hold on, let me see. This is Truth Hurts by Rakeem. So the honesty here with the beat, I'm getting a lot of belly dancing energy, a lot of um, sensual energy. So you guys are really good at what you do. Your sacral is popping. You guys got bomb ass creativity. It's like, I'm hearing you woke up like this. You woke up and you, you're ready to change. You got a lot of Gemini, Sag in your chart. Oh, I like that. And you're, you're good dancers. You know how to move. You, you're a showstopper. And you do not let up on your goals. Everything you do, you write. Everything you do is fresh. Everything you do is innovative. And you are very determined to see this through. They can't stand that. This person, um, I'm having a vision of them. You know, they're very thin. This person's very thin. They have long hair. Um, and they walk in front of you. And they also, there's a lot of like, like nervous energy. Like they're very nervous people or uh, they, they don't know how to hold the conversation. They're very sporadic and anxious, anxious. They're very anxious. And they're always like talking over you or they want to one up you. So they'll try to say, um, oh, you know, you might share something with them and then they try to one up it like, oh, well, you, that's not necessarily true. You know, someone like that. So who's jealous of you? Yeah, this is someone you stopped working with, and I feel like they might have been at distance. This is someone you were actually maybe connected to. Um, yeah, you guys are working on something together. I feel like both of you guys, I'm hearing conquering the world. Maybe you guys both had a goal of being very powerful in this world. Like you wanted to be very, very in your power. And you guys have goals in terms of public recognition or to do something in life that's very recognizable and you guys have chosen the path of putting your head down and grinding and doing what you need to do without getting distracted this person gets distracted by love like they need a partner they always need somebody okay so what are they envious of i'm getting a lot of fire energy too 
I'm hearing slow movement. Yeah, that you guys got money. You're very elegant. You know how to present yourself in public. You're very, you're well respected. People respect you. You got money. You got coin. Um, and a lot of this is your independence. You do this alone. You don't need, you don't need people holding your hand. You don't need people telling you how to do it. Okay. Why are they jealous of you with the lovers in reverse? You guys parted ways with this person. Again, you guys chose, like you guys chose to walk away from this despite maybe having a collaboration here. You guys decided that you wanted to work alone. Like you pulled a Beyonce. You know, after she was in Destiny's Child, and she's like, I'm going to go solo. People didn't like that. People didn't like that you, they don't like that you're taking away from their fame or their recognition. But it was yours to begin with, right? It was your crown. So why don't they, why are they jealous of you? They feel like a lot of you guys did black magic. Some of you guys are witches or your manifestors. They feel like you got this unfairly, like you're doing some kind of magic to get this in an unfair way, that you're doing things that are not fair, um, that you're using darker forces to get to your goals. They feel like um, you did something to them. I'm hearing that they, they are accusing you of cursing them or using black magic on them to ruin their life traumatic okay why that you shine they're jealous of you because you shine you know how to use your power to manifest everything um and maybe this is also um it could be a partner you guys it could be like a relationship someone from the past that you're very sensual and you have a lot of people like recognizing you you guys are very po body positive like you love your body, but you're also very like sexy in a way where you know how to like hide it a little bit and you're not overly exposed. Like you, you give a little bit like, like this, like you have a little shoulder, but you don't give too much of yourself. You know what I mean? They like really, really are, they don't like that you're overly emotional. They feel like you're overly emotional or that you use um, your emotions to manipulate people. This is their, their feeling. They feel like you overdo something, but that's only because you are very authentic and people feel your authenticity and they don't like that. That you're very, um, that you don't allow yourself to, yeah. Listen, that you ain't got no stress. They feel like you ain't got no stress, that you're abundant, that you're reaping the rewards, that you're out here fertile, that you're out here looking bomb as F. I'm hearing that you have a nice waist, okay? Maybe this person is jealous of your body as well because they do have some eating disorders here. I'm getting some issues with eating. So they look at your body and they look how curvy and beautiful you are. You have no worry in the world. You know what's coming? what song's coming to mind? I got 99 problems in a... A1, okay? All right, my loves, I hope that helped. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye.